Hi! I'm Angelo Wrestling. Uh, okay, I'm done. I, I'm not gonna make intro ever again. This, this is my desperate attempt for an intro. I'm not doing it ever again. I'm here to talk about Raw. This week is SummerSlam and we have the final Raw before SummerSlam. We cannot expect a lot from it, of course, but we had some preview things that I got really hyped about. For example, first of all, Logan vs Ricochet. Nothing really happened. Logan knocked down Ricochet at the end and they had some heaters between each other, but I cannot really tell who is going to win and who is not going to win. I think that the match itself is going to be really interesting, so I can't wait for SummerSlam to see their match. I think they're both capable of doing amazing stuff in the ring, so I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Another thing that was amazing, Maxine Dupree versus Valhalla. I know, I know, I know. It's a, it's a thing that I never expected to say, but we saw two amazing stuff. First of all, Maxime Dupree, Caterpillar which was, as Corey Graves said, uh, it's like you put a hinges to the caterpillar, but it still works. She, it's gonna get better, don't worry about it. And another thing, Maxine apparently has a new finisher that looks amazing, like Valhalla was on her shoulders and she just went back and went into a bridge uh, or a wheel. I, I'm not sure how to say it in English. I think it's a wheel in English. It looks amazing. So I'm really hype about the future of Maxine Dupree. I'm really curious what is happening with the Maximum Male Models while she is with the Alpha Academy. I really want Maximum Male Models to come, maybe as a part of the Academy or maybe some comedy act. Then we had Shinsuke Nakamura versus Tommaso Ciampa. I expressed last week that I was unhappy with Tommaso losing and now he's having problem with Shinsuke obviously and he's still losing and Shinsuke cheated which made the loss a little bit a little bit more acceptable but still a loss is a loss I'm not okay with this maybe we're gonna continue the feud and maybe it's gonna evolve into something magical and beautiful but for now I don't like that Tommaso is losing I'm not a huge Tommaso Ciampa guy but I think that in order for the guy to get over, he needs a little bit more wins. And I don't know why they were mentioning that if Shinsuke is winning that one, and maybe if he beats Big Bronson Reed, he's gonna get a Intercontinental Championship shot. But I don't believe it. <laughs> Next up, we had a Brock and Cody segment that I thought it was cool until the moment it was not cool. I think it was fair it was really funny when Brock said I am paid to come at SummerSlam and beat Cody's ass Cody is paid to come at SummerSlam and receive a beating <laughs> I think that was really funny but I really wanted things to go another way I imagine it like this Cody goes into the ring shake his hand whatever Brock goes to the backstage and Cody takes the mic and it's like but Brock, what if I'm paid to beat your ass and you're paid to receive a beating? Something like this and Brock is gonna heat up and it's gonna end like this and it's gonna get mysterious. We all know Cody is gonna get over, but still, yeah, I think it's, it's, gonna, be, it's gonna be good. Becky versus Trish, please stop it, please stop it or at least make Lita come back on the Becky side and say that Trish is insane. I don't know, spice it up, end it. I thought we were gonna have a match this week and I thought if it's not this week, it's gonna be at SummerSlam, but their next match is not even on a pay-per-view. What is happening? And then we had a banger. 10 star match, 11 star match, whatever. Gunther versus Chad Gable. Everything started in the back and Gunther was like, you're a joke, Alpha Academy, you're a joke. Gable said, ha, huh, how dare you say that? And Gunther was like, I need only five minutes to beat you. Chad Gable was like, I can last five hours in this ring if I have to, any day. And that was amazing part. And after that, that resulted in a match between Gable and Gunther. That was timed match for five minutes and Gable won. But because obviously they don't want to record any losses on the behalf of Gunther, uh, they continued the match as a normal match and it was 
amazing. I, I don't know, uh, if I could, I could have showed you my highlights from the match, but actually you can go and watch it yourself. I love that match and I think that definitely Gabo should be the next in line for the Intercontinental Championship. I don't know if he's gonna win it or not, I don't care, but it's gonna be an amazing match. Like all the German suplexes, all the things that he pulled out of his ass, Chad Gable, he's amazing and I can't wait to see Gunther versus Chad Gable at some pay-per-view or even if it's on Raw, I don't care. I, another thing I want to talk about briefly is the promo packages between Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. I really love them, they were really emotional and you understand more history about Sh Ronda Rousey, about Shayna Baszler and uh, their friendship and how Shayna Baszler actually have career in combat sports way longer than Ronda Rousey did and all of that stuff and I, actually they have a lot of respect for each other. I don't think that rivalry is real life rivalry but it, that doesn't mean that it's not cool and I'm not gonna look forward for it because I feel like this is the first time in a long time real fight that they're gonna have because I feel like it's not gonna be a wrestling match, it's not gonna be a WWE match, it's just gonna be fight and I'm excited to see this, can't wait. Seth and Sammy versus Dominic and Damien, why do we have that match? because we need a main event. Anyway, did I like that match? I'm not sure about it, but there was something interesting and one what the flip moment that I cannot accept. So Damien Priest did a razor's edge to Seth, right? And somehow he thought that this is gonna be enough for him to cash in his money in the bank contract to beat Seth. And this is my first what the flip moment because who ever pinned someone after not even a finisher. And after this, Finn Balor was the guy who gave the money in the bank contract to Damien. And he hesitated for a little bit, but then he gave it to him. And let's project that in theory Damien cashes in his money in, the um, in a bank contract and wins championship. What does that mean? That at SummerSlam we're gonna have Damien versus Finn? Sorry, what? But yeah, that's Raw for me this week. I'm not gonna give a score because this is just my Raw talk. This Raw talk is not like the other Raw talk. This Raw talk is way cooler because because, <laughs> please, see you tomorrow for NXT. Peace.